So we're here at Spring Break Art Fair at my solo booth, Charge Piece for the Apocalypse. My name is Mike Chata, and this is my book. So this piece is titled Milk Tractor Stress Test. And uh, with this body of work, I'm sort of exploring our society through the lens of uh, contemporary commerce and regional dichotomies, and just trying to make sense of this big monster that is America and the world we live in. So I grew up in a small farm town, more cows than people. I'm normally a drawer or a painter, um, but I've just been working more dimensionally and sculpturally the last couple of years. Making these textures and like relief elements on paintings, which led me to these sort of more elaborate frame elements, that has taken me to this fully sculptural body of work. Yeah. Tell me how this comes together. I'll just make a mock-up sketch and then uh, I'll kind of just start working out the patterns and I use a lot of polystyrenes and foams and resins. Okay, cool. Cut out all the shades and kind of lay them all up and stack them. Hide some colored pencil drawings in here, some acrylic paints, and just try to bring all these different materials together. Working this way has kind of led me to fully realized sculptures. So kind of just taking these uh, 3D elements and just kind of laying them over the floor, making these small chalk keys, kind of dealing with all these like, ideas in the uh, so the ranch bottle came from this piece uh, behind us. I just sort of, something about ranch dressing just seemed like a perfect stand-in for like modern culture in this country. It was like so cheap and like full of corn syrup and kind of gross and like available everywhere. Um, and I sort of love this like anonymity of these like blank bottles yet everybody's immediately recognizing it and it's like you understand them. Um, and then sort of just like cutting up this idea of um, dressing things up in this sort of like grotesque way with these like chicken nuggets and this fake ranch. And sort of thank you bag on like a piece of stool. And then just like commodity culture at the finest. So this piece is a functional bong. I mean, it's got all the components <laughs> and everything. Something about this like grotesque gallon of mirror and bong made sense to combine together. Working with these like tools of indulgence and sort of like making this like weird sculpture, and then I thought this sort of like vacant red, white, and blue like folding chair would just be like a good piece to kind of sit and just like take the show in. Yeah, this, this one's motorized, so I started working sculpturally, and then I said, you know what, let's go for it. I want to make something really kinetic. I want to activate the space the works in. Um, cool. So I came up with this piece. It's called Spectral Presence Momentum. And, uh, well, this sort of piece is behind me, more about channeling like the sort of heartland America. This piece is sort of a more zoomed out take on uh, mercantile trades and like civilization is built through like buying and selling and trade routes and things like that. So Maersk is the biggest shipping conglomerate in the world. They're Dutch. and Dutch have a history of trade routes and colonization and things like that. Um, so taking this big idea and kind of condensing it into this small, you know, perpetual motion machine, um, taking a bite out of it, dressing it up in this cheap commodity, and then making it sort of like a little horror cheap ship. So Spring Break is great. Amber and Andrew run it. They're a couple. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. It's just sort of a low cost of entry um, fair. It's mostly artist run, curated. Um, you see a lot of eclectic stuff, you don't see it other places, and it's just a lot of fun. This is my third booth with them. I've done group booths before, and they invited me to the this year. And like the first time you got it, what was the process like? So there's an online application, okay. and they have a theme, and you sort of work through it, and uh, cater your booth to it. It's a little loose and pretty open. Um, you send them a mock-up. Um, and if you get accepted, you move forward with submitted images, and then the rest is very DIY. They really give artists the full range to just do whatever they want.